what you're going to try and do is you remember back to the album that was called Transmutation and how that made you feel and how you then got into these images and you began to feel those images and they began to affect your music. Now go back to these images and let it boil. vessel and the vessel is called the pelican. The pelican is um, a glass vessel where it starts at the bottom as a boiling mass and then the fumes begin to rise up and then they come to the top of the vessel and then the beak of the pelican feeds it back into the bottom. So now first you play this bubbling stuff at the bottom, this heavy stuff out of which the fumes start to rise up to the head of the pelican. <laughs> pelican through the beak of the pelican these fumes begin to infuse the heavy substance at the bottom of the vessel This is called the sublimation. And in that sublimation, as the fumes go back into the bottom of the vessel, then the heavy stuff down below begins to transmute. That is the beginning of the transmutation process. <coughs> that happens slowly it begins to coagulate it cools down and it becomes concrete it becomes coagulated <laughs> And 
and after it coagulates, then it has to be dissolved again. And this goes on for a few measures. The coagulation, dissolution, coagulation, dissolution. of colors that begin to come up. That's called the tail of the peacock. spark emerges, something that has never been heard before. Salem, the heaven, this spark goes into the world of the mirror, the world of silver, the world of the moon, and in this silver world it becomes a completely alien melody. Now, spirit is this alien spirit that's what the alchemist is trying to do the alchemist is trying to get the alien spirit to rise up out of the metals and then communicate with this alien spirit and out of that the transmutation process takes place <laughs>
this is what the alchemists call the tincture. And the tincture is creative energy that then puts everything in a new key.